guys and welcome to the family fudge and welcome to another episode of bunches of lunches today i'm going to be sharing all the fun kid lunches i made over christmas break from school so stay tuned okay guys now i have a lot of fun lunch ideas to share with you today but before i get started i have a special shout out this week it goes to Olivia Balter for leaving us our first comment on last week's video. Now if you'd like to try to be next week's shout out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you know when I post a video and then maybe you'll be the first one. Now also in today's video, I have several other shout outs. I'm gonna pop those up on the screen down below as this video goes on. So thank you for leaving kind comments, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for giving this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now let's get started. Good afternoon friends and happy Monday. Today's actually Christmas day. I have all the kids here helping me say hi. Hi, hi. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. So this morning we opened up presents and stockings and we had breakfast and we had a lot of fun. But right now we're gonna have a quick lunch. So I wanted to make it special, but I also made things that were really easy because all of our family, are, they're gonna be here at four. So we wanted a quick lunch. This morning when we were opening up presents, I got a new thing of sandwich cutters. My mother-in-law gave this to me and I think she found it on Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link it down below if you're curious. But this can make all different kinds of sandwiches. So Lily helped me make these ones. Yeah. For Mackenzie we have a heart and for Jackson we have a little puppy dog. And for Lily we have dolphins and a heart. Today I also made a sugar snap pea Christmas tree because it's really easy to throw together. And for the star this time I just cut out a piece of cheese. And then I'm also serving some little orange smiles. Those are really quick and easy. And as a treat, I have a little present shaped chocolate. Does it look good, you guys? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to eat this quick and then you gotta get ready for our family to come over. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and take that Okay guys, lunchtime is over. The kids ate super fast today. I think they wanted to get back to playing with their toys. And I did end up cutting up one extra orange because they asked for more. And that's usually how it works. If they ask for more, I give them more. Within reason, I didn't give them any more candy. So right now I just have Mackenzie here helping me. Hi! Thanks Mackenzie. What did you think about today's lunch? It was really good. Yeah, what was your favorite part? I really liked the oranges and the snap pea Christmas tree. Yeah, you ate everything. Jackson ate everything. He had a lot more pieces of oranges. And then Lily, she left her or some of her sugar snap peas. But I was really excited to give these uh, sandwich cutters a try today. I can't wait to try out all of them. So, Merry Christmas and we will see you guys tomorrow. Merry Christmas to all and to all we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon guys and happy Tuesday. Today is the day after Christmas and we have a really fun lunch. I got Lily here helping me say hi. Hi. Does it look cool? Yeah. Look at your cheese. <laughs> so today instead of just giving them the cutouts, I actually gave them the outside of the cheese too. Looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So today I started by making some pigs in a blanket. I just took some little Smokies and Mackenzie helped me to wrap some crescent dough around each piece. And then I just baked it for about 10 minutes. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving some ketchup and mustard, which I made into the shape of a little heart, just because I thought the kids would think that was cute. Is it cute? Yeah. Yeah. Now over here I have some strawberries and some grapes. And then over here I have some sugar snap peas that I'm trying to use up. And I got these new picks for Christmas. My mother-in-law gave these to me and they're cool. They're from Japan. So if I can find the link to these, I'll go ahead and put them in the description box below if you'd like to check these out. We have our cute little pick here. In the corner I just have a little dollop of our homemade ranch. And that is everything. I think I might give the kids um, some juice to go with this. And that's it. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Okay, here's yours. So when they're done, I will show you what they ate. Okay, we're all finished with lunch now and here's what's left. I have Jackson here helping me. Say hi. Hi. So what'd you think, Jack? It was good. It was good. What was your favorite part? Maybe the little uh, pigs in a blanket. Uh huh. Yeah, but I can tell what part you didn't like. You didn't like the this. Mustard you don't like mustard, it. so you didn't use any. 
No. Well, Kenzie ate everything and Lily ate pretty much everything, so I'm amazed. I would say today was a win. I'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Wednesday. First, I started off by heating up some frozen turkey meatballs, and then I added those to a skewer just for fun, and I drizzled a little bit of barbecue sauce on there. Now, to go along with that, I made some flower-shaped pears. I just used my little flower cutter to cut them out, and then I surrounded them with some pomegranate, so it looks like real flowers. Now, to go along with that, I'm also serving a little salad. This is kale and cabbage. Um, and bacon, it's like a little chopped salad. And then I also have a croissant and a Go-Gurt Simple. So it's pretty much the same for all of the kids. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to them now. And when they're done, I'll show you what they ate. Okay guys, so it's after lunch now, and you can probably tell they ate just about everything. I see Lily has a few little pomegranate seeds left, but that's pretty much it. What did you guys think today? Good. Really good. Did you yeah. like your salad? Huh? Yeah. I think that salad's really tasty. I think I should buy that again. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the salad. The salad? Yeah. yeah. The salad. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'll definitely serve that again. We'll see you guys yes. tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today, we're still having lunch at home because we're on school break. Right now, I have Mackenzie with me and I have Jackson. Say hi. Hi. Now today I have something I've never showed on this on these videos before, and that is leftovers for one and different lunches for two. But since we're at home, we have a lot of leftovers. That's what I was going with today. So for Mackenzie, we are starting with a beef tamale that we had from the store. And for the other kids, I heated up some leftover pasta with pesto. And these are actually the uh, snowflake ones from Trader Joe's. So that's for Jackson and that one's for Lily. Now to go along with this today, I also chopped up some celery and some carrots and I made my carrots look really cute by using my crinkle cutter. This is actually a Pampered Chef product. I get that asked all the time and if I can find it, I will link it down below. Now to go along with all of our veggies today, I did want to make some new ranch dip and today I added extra herbs to the ranch. Now finally to go along with the lunches today, I'm also serving some fruit. This is just some red grapes and some cut up pineapple. And I just put it on a little skewer to make it extra fun. I have a lot of these wooden skewers and they don't usually fit in our lunch boxes. So an at home lunch is a perfect time to use them. And Miss Lily helped me make hers. Isn't that cute? Okay, are you ready to eat? Yeah! Here you go. Thanks. Okay guys, it's time to see what they ate. And I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that I didn't end up washing these plates right away. It's several hours later and so they're kind of yucky looking. But the good news is, is that they pretty much ate everything, or they did eat everything. Mackenzie had the tamale. Yep. I actually have Mackenzie and Lily here helping me say hi. Hi. So Mackenzie, how was your lunch? It was really good. You guys did a really good job. Did you really like your little fruit on a stick? Yeah. Does yeah. it make it more fun if it's on a stick? Yeah. I decided to use the chopsticks to make it look like chopsticks for my celery. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's funny. Lily, what was your favorite part? You had the pasta with the fruits and the vegetables. What was your favorite part? The fruits, the, the vegetables. I liked everything. <laughs> you liked everything? All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Friday. Now, today is the last day of our Christmas break, and then next week, we're right back to our regular school lunches. Today, I decided to make some egg salad because I got this really cute little egg cutter as a Christmas gift. Isn't that cute? And I also have a lot of mini croissants that I need to use up. But I thought, to be fun, we should do an egg salad taste test today. So I'm gonna make a regular egg salad, which is good old mayonnaise and salt and pepper. And then I'm going to make another version that is more like to my taste. So I'm gonna add a few other things to this one. And then I'm gonna let the kids try both of them and they can decide which one they like the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs sliced up and I will mix them up and then we'll go from there. Oh yes, and don't mind my ugly eggs, you guys. They just didn't wanna peel very easily. Okay guys, so now both of our bowls here have eggs, mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. And this one's going to stay just those items. But for this one, I'm going to doctor it up 
and I'm gonna make it the way I like it, and then we'll see which ones the kids prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and squirt a little bit of dill relish in here. I'm also going to put a few squirts of mustard, and then just a tiny bit of onion powder. So just a few little changes, but it really makes it taste a lot better. At least I think so. This is how I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my croissants filled up, and then we'll move on to the rest of lunch. Okay guys, so the sandwich with the green pick is the regular egg salad, and the one with the pink one is the one where I added a few more ingredients. So let's see which ones the kids prefer. Okay guys, here is today's lunch. Hey girls, do you wanna come see? Yeah! Come see. Whoa! Will it look nice? Yeah, egg okay. salad's my favorite. Yes, but today we're doing a taste test. Oh. So there's one kind of egg salad with the pink pick, and there's a different kind with the green one. So you have to tell me which one tastes better. Okay, so okay. try this one, and then try that one, and then say pink or green, which one's better. Okay. okay, now to go along with our egg salad, I'm also giving the kids a go gurt Simple. This is in the mixed berry flavor, some broccoli. Uh oh, I forgot the ranch. Did you guys want ranch? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll put some ranch. And then I also uh, put a few pieces of turkey pepperoni on a little pick here, just so that it's fun. And then I have a lot of pears. I have a ton that I need to use up in the next couple of days. And to make it fun, I'm putting a little animal pick. And I got these little picks for Christmas. Aren't those cute? Yeah. So there's Mackenzie's, there's Jackson's, there's Lily's. I'll go ahead and put some ranch on here. All right. Lunch is ready. Here you go. Thanks. Here you go. Eat it all, okay? Okay. Don't forget to tell me, pink or green, which one's better? Okay. Okay, guys, so we just finished up with lunch, and as you can tell, some kids did better than others. I've got Mackenzie here helping me. Hi. Okay, Mackenzie, what did you think about the egg salad taste test? It was really good, and my favorite one was the green one. The green one? That's funny, because Jackson said his favorite one was the pink one. So you guys each like the different ones. And as you can tell here, Lily didn't really like either one of them, so that's not so good. Now, do you want to know the secret ingredients? What is it? I put pickles and mustard. What? Yeah. I, I didn't even taste it. Yeah, it tastes good, right? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll make it that way for you guys next time, but maybe not Lily. Maybe next time I'll just give her a hard-boiled egg and some bread and call it good. See you next week. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me for another week of fun lunch ideas. Now if you make your own fun lunch, make sure to snap a picture and post it on Instagram using the hashtag bunches of lunches. That way I can see it because I love to see your creations. Now if you'd like to see last week's video, you could click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, you could click on the link down there. And to subscribe, you can always do that by hitting my face right down there. Also, leave me a comment down below, which of these lunches today was your favorite? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.